So I just wanted to touch on the Oklahoma angle on all this. Obviously, uh, Stitt signed a Senate bill uh, 1503, which the Supreme Court refused to stop. So I, it'll take, I guess, a federal court maybe could stop it from going into effect until, well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, until the Supreme Court actually rules on Roe versus Wade and then all sorts of bad shit will happen. But um, anyway, I just wanted to pull up this act. I mean, go, I mean, it's pretty easy. Just Google OKSB 1503. You can read. I mean, it, this, this act is horrifying. So it doesn't actually put it in the criminal code. So like, but it makes, it basically turns all of our neighbors into civil vigilantes where they can now go after women and providers and other people and punish them for having abortions. So, I mean, it's just, it's very, uh, I mean, I never actually watched the show, but The it's Handmaiden's really Tale, I guess, right? It's like, it's like where, I mean, it's very 1984, like those sorts of, you know, where the society becomes about like, you know, they won't actually criminalize it. I mean, they, eventually there are laws that will do that, but they, they aren't brave enough to actually use the power of the state to do the thing. They want us all to like turn on each other and go it's through just this like, really, it's really good. Yeah, it's, it's really funny that they're trying to like, make us invade our neighbor's privacy. Meanwhile, when Ryan Walters was trying to be contacted by the press this week, he called them like harassing and like trying, like disturbing his family. It's like, so that. that's what you want us to do to our neighbors who might've had an abortion like yeah. last week. Like who gives a fuck? Like I'm not worried about what they're doing in the house next door unless it's actively affecting everybody else in the neighborhood or harming somebody specifically. But like, we're not, we're not gonna, I don't see us just going in and like turning in our neighbors on a regular basis. Like no. not us, but you know who will. And it doesn't even, it's not even got to be tied to an abortion. Right. I think people are just going to be so petty that they're going to be like, Oh, so-and-so pissed me off. Do do do. Well, I think they got an abortion. Like there's no, like there's not even. It's it, like, Oh my God. It's like, like her, it's, it's literally back whenever like nine 11 happened. And there was like, I just I suspect that my neighbor is a terrorist. And then yeah. oh, and I after these people. Right. it's like, I suspect that my neighbor is an abortionist. I'm going to call the fetus cops on you. Like what the fuck, bro? Like, wait. And then like this bill, you can tell it was written to be as harmful and offensive as possible. Can you go 100%. to their definition of women? Yeah, where was that? I think definitions were the top. This is what really gets me is because they went, you know, out of the way to define what women yeah. mean in this context. And it says, include any person whose biological sex uh, is female, including any person with two X chromosomes and any person with a uterus, regardless of any gender, gender identity that person attempts to assert. What? That's a big yikes. Are you fucking kidding me? The guy, like, the guy codify their transphobia, you know? Like, he's, he's got to make sure it's in there. <laughs> oh, my God. So I was reading this bill last night. And when I got to that point, I just closed my computer. I was like, I don't even know if I need to read anymore to get the gist of the amount of hatred behind this fucking bill. Are you kidding me? Y'all... I'm like mostly off Twitter now. <laughs> like I've had to take a significant break from social media stuff. Like I won't even post on my stories because there's so much stuff nowadays that makes me want to give everybody Arthur hands. Like I am so fucking tired of it. Like I get all of my news from you, Adrian. I get all of my news from Nick because I'd rather trust him as more of a messenger about the filtering of the information than practically anybody else. I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> and I mean, that's real, bro, because here's my, I, you can look at my Twitter too. And my accounts, like I've been trying to post things and engage, but honestly, I've been staying off social media too, because it's fucking harmful to your mental health at this point. And it's just like, Literally, I told my mom yesterday, like, what discourages me is the amount of people that I see doing the work around the issues versus the amount of people I see not doing shit but sitting at home complaining. Like, it's like the transgenerational trauma is already enough for me as a black person. And just watching just everything in the world. It's too fucking much. It's too much. Like, I am... 
It's like Roe v. Wade was passed before all of us were born, but yet they're trying to get a they're trying to get rid of it, and it's just. Um, it feels backwards. Like it literally feels like we're not progressing towards anything. We're just staying in the same sort of like retrograde ass. I mean, some of these people though, like some of these people were definitely alive to see Roe v. Wade be right. passed though. Cause it was passed in 1973. Right. So our Joe Bidens and our Nancy Pelosi's were definitely alive to see that shit. Like, I'm, like, I'm literally at this point where being on social media, unless we're talking about things with OPN and the news or it's for my job, I'm not going to be on it. Because as somebody who is an organizer, a campaign worker, who, do, like, who does not make enough to make shit me in the fucking inflation, right? As somebody who's part of the nonprofit world trying to do this organizing and stuff like that. Like, every single time I hear about one of these things, I'm just like, it's it's one of the myriad of issues that we're already trying to tackle. Like, I'm at this point where it's like, okay, at least when it comes to the state of Oklahoma, redesign whatever the hell we absolutely need to. Like, get, like, fi- figure it out. Like, if I have to get to a point where it's just like, I'm just not going to listen to the federal government as a state entity because y'all keep fucking up, like, literally everything and won't even take care of my own people. It's like, how are we digressing to the point that we're taking rights away instead of giving more rights? Because that, did- that, that logic doesn't make any sense. I mean, but when did we ever stop taking people's rights away? Since the right. inception of this country. Right. <laughs> like never because even if we weren't doing it domestically which we always have been we were doing it overseas like and i'm not even trying to put you on blast taz but like you know the part america played in the fight what, what they did to your country yeah. like, <laughs> like just like everything everywhere like, all the time honestly like you know because it is all about like me and my foreign policies with azerbaijan who sided with like you know the fucking russians about this war uh, I'm like, you know, if like I would rather us do our own personal foreign policy shit with absolutely anybody else. California does it with the Chinese already, especially whenever it came to like recycling and stuff like that. That wasn't just like a national sort of deal. Like individual states can make those decisions if they want to. Individual states can decide to go about um doing this to help benefit their own stuff. It's just like, you have to get creative with this sort of thing. You have to care about your constituencies first. You have to want things for them. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, we, we really have divorced, uh, yeah, just politics from delivering the goods on people. I mean, uh, I mean, especially on the democratic side, it's like, they just think we're not as bad as them. So vote for us. And I mean, it's just such a hollow, and then we're finally seeing the outcome of it. I was going to say something earlier, like, um, like it's weird to me too, because I know people at high levels know this stuff. Cause like one of the best called shots I've ever seen in politics was, is like the week after the 2016 election, I was at a national conference for political like lobbyists for this organization I worked for at the time. It was a teacher's union. So you can look it up. But anyway, um, they're, legal team was basically like Supreme Court, it, it, like they're going to roll back everything. Like they're going to, you know, overturn abortion. They're going to roll back, roll back gay marriage. And they called it. I mean, they knew even then that was before Ginsburg died. That was before a lot of stuff happened. Like called, shot at it, said exactly what's happening now. You know what? Six years later uh, is exactly what they predicted. So it's like, and these were people that were like very powerful, deep in circles of democratic politics. I mean, it's to like all of Athena's posts here. It's like, when are we going to fight back? Like, when is somebody going to take this seriously and be like, you know, we don't want to lose these rights that people have had for two generations. Like, when are we going to fight back? I mean, I think it's still just like a bit of shock that it's even happening because like Roe v. Wade has always, I mean, like we've known that it, that the, potential of it going away has always been a thing but it never felt like a real actuality especially not now since we have like a democratic president even though it lies with the supreme court different entities but it's i think we're all just still like shocked that this is a thing and we're trying to figure out maybe the best way to mobilize i don't don't, 
I really don't know. I, I haven't been on the side of organizing in, in the way that Taz and Adriana have. So I don't really. Um... I don't know if I'm being a pessimist all my life or if like. I totally saw this shit coming, y'all. Like, That's, yeah, like, they did too. Impacted people, people saw this it. shit coming. Like, there, there ain't no way that, like, like it, bro. I could trace it all the way. Like, why didn't if we want to get technical, Ginsburg, Ginsburg should have like retired whenever 100%. Obama was president, bro. Why 100%. would you ever give Trump the opportunity to have that power over our country? Hundred percent. And that was like not the first mistake, but a fucking big one. Yeah. And I knew then when she died, like, we're fucked. Right. Right. I knew before she died. <laughs> I mean, probably back when Obama was in office, I was saying we're fucked. I mean, when um, they can hold a Supreme Court seat open for eight months. They replaced Ginsburg in two weeks. Yeah. And <laughs> like, this, is, this is that shit I'm talking about, about the Democrats wanting to play nice. Process. Like, the, the Republicans are never going to play nice with you, bro. They're going to shit on you every single time. So there's no point in, like, respectability politics. Fuck you. And that. This shit is sports <laughs> ball, okay? It yeah. is sports ball. As far as I am concerned, you don't even need to be in control of all of the Democrats. That's not a realistic thing. But you just need to get enough of like the faction of Democrats to be able to be in charge so that they can determine who their speaker or whatever is going to be. You don't need everybody. As I mean, as much as we want, because the rest, guess what, will eventually have to fall in line. And if they don't, then they don't belong in the party. But no, oh. but... But this is not like it's like, oh, we are stupid and we don't know how to strategize because it is kind of that. But at the the I feel like so here <laughs> the Democratic Party is just as inherently racist and oppressive as the Republican Party. And maybe I'm a conspiracist, but I totally believe that like the whole ploy was, you know, we're going to pick these people to block every fucking thing so then we can say we can't get nothing done. You think Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema and these fuckers haven't been like paid off or something? Like there hasn't been some type of promise made to them because I don't know. I don't know really. I don't think necessarily that they'll win their re-elections because of all of the things that they've done up until this point. The and one is mine. I totally believe that this is organized by the party, like in part, because there's no way in hell that y'all got these two people blocking everything. I would have been caught them in a back alley. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the joke is that Alito actually like leaked his own thing. <laughs> I, I believe that. <laughs> like, I would believe that. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to look up. Uh, I'd seen some other conspiracies, but um, I can't find them now. So, and I'm not saying just on the basis of abortion. I'm saying that the Democrats are actively oppressing their own people at will on a regular basis and have been forever. So, there's that. Yeah. Thanks for watching our video. Please give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more content. If you want to engage with us, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram.